Hey everybody, welcome to the Movement Library. Today we are going to be planking out. Plank. My most loved and my most despised posture. I actually love plank, but I want to be able to offer you all modifications so you can get into plank safely and remain there as long as it feels good and safe for you. So I'm going to show you proper plank form and then I'm going to show you a couple different modifications. So let's come on down to the mat. Let's talk about the hands. Hands are spread out and shoulders are even with the wrist. If it's really rough on your wrist, you can take out your hands a little further in front of you so you don't have that big angle. I, my wrists, I don't have any problems. If you have a lot of pain in your wrist, I'll show you a different variation in a few moments. Now, building up from the wrist, press the hands into the mat. You're gonna straighten out your arms. Feel your arms fired up here, okay? Feel some firing up along the back of your arms into your shoulders. You're gonna press out of plank. A lot of times I see sinking. Do you see how that looks? That's not good. We wanna press in and out, okay? Press into the mat and press out of our shoulders. The spine is long. You don't want hanging of the chin. So you're gonna line your spine so you have pretty much a fist between your chin and your sternum. It's kind of a good way to, to put it. Rounding the spine, pressing in, you're gonna feel your abdominals engage. Notice how we don't have that sagging. We have a rounding and a pressing back. Lift the pelvic floor. Then you're gonna walk your feet out one and two. Decent long line, fire up your glutes, fire up the, your legs, your calves, your heels. I like to press my weight into my heels, into my heels. And there we go with plank. If this is too much, yes, you can bring your knees down, but I still want you lifting out of your shoulders, okay? Oftentimes when I see people in this plank, it's like this, okay? We don't want that rounding or that curving in the lower back, I want you to press and make sure that this is all engaged, okay? So feel that engagement, firming of the lower belly, pressing down of the spine, feel that engagement there, okay? If you're like, dude, I can hold that all day, but I can't hold this all day, you can alternate between the two. You can do some little knee push-ups here. Those are no joke, okay? You can press back and come to child's pose. If getting weight on your wrist is too, too crazy, you can come to dolphin plank or elbow plank. Now watch yourself here, making sure that you're nice and engaged here, not sinking in the lower back. This is also no joke. Okie dokie, so what do you think? You like those poses? So we've got elbow plank, we've got knees on our knees plank, and we've got full plank. What should we do about this? I say we do four rounds of elbow plank and four rounds of full plank on your knees or not. If you wanna do that with me, stick around and we're gonna do some plank Tabata. If not, have a great day and I'll see you around later. Ah, you've stuck around. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get my phone ready so we can set that timer and do this right. I'm gonna start off in plank on my knees. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of some pushing up, okay? Watch my alignment here. My core is engaged, my lower back feels supported. My elbows are going behind me. They're not winging out, and I'm gonna show you in a moment what that looks like. My elbows are doing this and not that, okay? They're going behind me. If your knees hurt, this might be a little late to tell you, but you could bring your knees to a blanket Woohoo! 
Feeling that engagement. Woo! So you could be doing these mini push-ups with me or just sticking it out in plank, whatever you want. I'm gonna do a few more of these mini push-ups, two more sets. I know they don't look like much, but I'm telling you, a lot is engaged here. Just gonna have to take my word for it if you're not doing it with me. One more round. Shake out your arms. Squeeze your forearms. Let's hit it again. About 10 more seconds. Stretch it out. I'm coming to two rounds of full plank and two rounds of elbow plank. Just to change it up, keeping myself challenged. Pressing into my heels. Pressing my belly button towards my spine. A little bit of rounding in the lower back, just because I felt myself sinking. Nice work. Feeling my heartbeat. Being thankful that it's working properly. Feeling myself shake every now and then. What are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself you're powerful? Be thankful to be doing this? I know I am. Two rounds. Dolphin plank, and then we'll be done. I'm coming down, setting myself up. Squeezing my glutes, forgot about that. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Oh, we got one more round, guys. We can do this. We've got this. We can do anything for 20 seconds. We've come this far. Ten more seconds. Just breathe here. Nice job. Great work. Stretch out my spine a little bit. Stretch out to one corner. Draw the hips back. Stretch out to center. And then the other corner. I'm going to show you one more stretch that I absolutely love after something like plank. Oh. You can come to up dog or cobra, full cobra here, or you can bring your elbows down and draw your ribs towards the front of your mat or the top of your mat. This is Sphinx. Feel that nice stretch in your front body. Let's go with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed your workout and Feel free to explore more workouts on the Mountain View Network. Or just go grab some water and rest. We'll see you later on the mat. Have a great day.